Hello everybody, my name is Dratnos, and in this video I'm going to explain what masks are in Horrific Visions. So first off, masks are never something you need to interact with to upgrade your cloak. Everything you need to do with your cloak can be done just with, with no masks active. However, once you full clear a Horrific Vision, the first time you do that, you will be rewarded with a faceless mask of the Long Night. This is a, a little quest, and then once that's done, you can then activate this mask for any future Hervic Vision runs you do. Now, all the masks come with a drawback, and they increase the health, damage, and corrupted mementos rewards of the Hervic Vision by 20%. So 20% more health, 20% more damage on all the enemies, but you get 20% more mementos. And if you full clear with a faceless mask, you'll also get five extra item levels per mask on your end of run reward. So it will go up from 445 for a full clear with no masks, all the way up to 470 if you can full clear with all five faceless masks active. Now you'll always start with the faceless mask of the long night, that's what you'll get from your first full clear, and its effect is pretty nasty. It reduces your maximum sanity to 65%. Uh, so notably, elite extermination and effects like that that give you a set amount of sanity, you know, the cheat death one for instance that restores you with 500 sanity, those will continue to be fully effective. Uh, you know, Elite Extermination restores a flat amount of sanity rather than a percentage, so it continues to be very powerful against this, but it does mean that each of your orbs is going to heal you for less sanity, because your sanity bar is smaller, uh, and just your sanity bar being smaller, you're, you're going to, you, this loses you, you know, a thousand or a little bit more than a thousand, plus a little bit more if it forces you to orb more aggressively uh, throughout the course of the Horrific Vision, which is quite a serious drawback. Now, how do you get the other masks? Well, you have to, with a mask active, clear one of the lost zones. And I'm now going to go through uh, in order of which of these other ones you can get. So let's start with the Faceless Mask of the Daredevil. If you clear the uh, Valley of Honor, so that's the one with Rexar in Orgrimmar, with any mask active, you'll be rewarded with the Faceless Mask of the Daredevil. This increases sanity damage from creatures by 150%, so this is almost all avoidable sanity damage. So with this mask active, you can maybe... This, this might be the least impactful mask if you are safe and you can dodge things. You know, if, if, you, if you're an effective dodger of the swirlies that make you lose sanity, uh, this is a useful thing to do. However, there are some mini-bosses that do unavoidable sanity drain, uh, and this will seriously increase the sanity damage output from those. You know, 150% increase is quite a lot. That's more than double, so uh, your sanity can drain very quickly on mini-boss fights. However, if you're a class or a player that has big damage cooldowns for those encounters... Uh, this is not too bad of one to activate. Uh, it does require you to clear the Valley of Honor with a mask active. The Faceless Mask of the Burdened Bridge uh, comes from the Valley of Wisdom in Orgrimmar with a mask active. Uh, while moving, you spawn void zones behind you that drain sanity. So uh, standing still, nothing bad's going to happen, but as you move, you'll keep making it so you can't move back to where you were. This requires some precision to play well. It has some negative interactions with some of the madnesses uh, that can be active in some of the zones. But it's all, all in all not too bad, not a, not a too bad one, likely to, you know, if you need to move into some of those zones and drain a little bit of sanity, it will likely still account for less total sanity drained than the Faceless Mask of the Daredevil, and way less probably than the Faceless Mask of the Long Knight, which is the first one that you start with. This is actually one of the nastier ones, so as soon as you can go and unlock the Daredevil or the Burn Bridge, I'd probably start with those, or perhaps the Faceless Mask of the Dark Imagination, which comes from the Mage Quarter in Stormwind. Uh, this one says, while you're below 30% sanity, occasionally summon enemies from the void. Uh, this can keep you in combat and make it impossible to orb, so that's something you do have to be careful of. But, you know, you might not spend too much of your runs below 30% sanity. Um, just be careful, like, what you probably need to do if you have this active is just orb a little bit before you would. If you're somebody who cuts it close on when to orb, this can get you into big trouble. If you're not, though, or if you're somebody who just plays above 50% sanity for most of the time, you know, above 30% sanity for most of the time... Uh, then this is one of the low-impact ones as well. And finally, the Faceless Mask of the Pained, the last of the five Faceless Masks, uh, comes from the Old Town in Stormwind with a mask active, and it means that you can get double, you'll get double madness effects in zones. Uh, so some of them are really nasty combos, you know, things that punish you for moving alongside things that require you to move are, man are possible madness combos. Uh, and especially if you have other masks active, you know, you have this mask uh, that forces you to you know, not move back to where you were, and that can interact badly with future madnesses. So this one can sometimes not be too bad and can sometimes put you in really awkward situations, especially, you know, classes like casters that have to 
stand still and cast for a while, there are a lot of madnesses that will force you to move and uh, make that more annoying. So this one I'm also putting up there as one of, one of the harder masks, but I would recommend uh, as soon as you get your Faceless Mask of the Long Night and you feel up to it, try and unlock one of maybe the Daredevil, the Burned Bridge, or the Dark Imagination Masks, and then start using that one instead of the Long Night until you feel comfortable. Again, to get the extra item level rewards, you must full clear with a Faceless Mask active. If you're not full clearing with your mask, uh, you may as well just... You, you're not going to get any better item level rewards. Um, but you will still get more mementos. And once you activate all five masks, you get even some extra bonus rewards. So on top of that 20% extra mementos per mask, you're going to gain even more bonus mementos. And you'll gain a title if you're doing it solo. If you full clear solo with all five masks, you'll get the Faceless One title. Uh, and Rank 4 Essence appearances are gated behind this achievement as well, doing it in both Stormwind and Orgrimmar. And that's the way to get item level 470 rewards out of Horrific Visions, which is just five item levels below Mythic Raid gear. So this is very strong if you can get to the level of doing this. Uh, it's possible in a group, it's possible solo. Definitely something that you can look forward to working on uh, as you progress further through the Horrific Visions. But there's been a lot of confusion about how exactly masks work, so I wanted to make this video to kind of help prepare you for what to expect when you start full clearing uh, and where you can get these good masks compared to the bad ones. I hope this video has helped. If it has, remember to uh, like and subscribe. Check out my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you in the next one.